Hi folks and welcome to the advanced tutorial on Sketchable. Today I'm going to teach you how to set the touch to tortillion which is the smudge tool while having the stylus to paint with. It's pretty cool. If you know this one already don't worry I'll show you a few other tricks as well. Here you can see my Sketchable journal. I've already got a few images open here and I'm just flicking backwards and forwards between them. Let's open one of them up. So first of all let's take our brush and lay down a few more lines of hair on this sketch that we've already started here. Nice and simple. Then you can simply click and hold on the tortillion tool and a small menu will pop up. Select touch to blender and it's as easy as that. You can now use your finger on the tortillion tool, the smudge tool, and you've now got the ability to use two different tools with two different inputs. Your stylus and your finger using two different tools. In the upper right hand corner of the screen you'll find the icon to make Sketchable full screen which just makes Sketchable feel a lot cleaner to use and stops your eyes being distracted by Windows UI. You'll also find an arrow in the bottom corner of the screen which hides all of Sketchable's UI as well. Very handy. Tap it once more and the UI simply reappears. And you can make the colour picker appear at will and disappear with its own icon. Leaving you with a lovely full screen of your image. However I recommend having the stroke preview open and the colour picker. Nice and clean. In the settings you have additional options for Sketchable's UI as well. However, another great way to customize Sketchable is to import your own custom brushes. Simply go to the settings menu, file, import, tool presets, append and then an explorer window will open. You can find your custom brushes, click open, your new brushes will be with your other brushes in the tool presets. And there you go, you can start drawing with your new brushes. Once you're done you can save your artwork and carry on drawing the next day with something new. And that's the advanced tutorial for Sketchable. My name's Lawrence Mann, I've been your host. Any questions, pop them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.